The East West Institute is a very unique organization in the world today. It's one of the few organizations that work on the parallel negotiations between countries. It's called Track 2. The official track is Track 1, government to government. Track 2 is the unofficial track. The East West Institute manages the unofficial process, and we allow the heads of state and governments to get together in an informal manner and help broker and try to maintain peace around the world. We've been doing this for over 30 years. We have an amazing track record of doing it. We have an amazing team, full-time team, a very strong board, and relationships all over the world that allow us to be that trusted advisor. When a government has a problem, they come to East West Institute. We can help them solve their problem in an unofficial, quiet way and try to resolve these issues without major conflict. The East West Institute's current missions are really go back to our foundation. Very focused on the United States and Russia, a critical relationship today. Very focused on the United States and China, another critical relationship. And then the United States and the Middle East. That's where we got started. Those are the missions we continue to grow today. And the one I'm personally involved the most in is the United States and China with the party to party talks between the Communist Party, the Republican Party, and the Democratic Party. We've given these three political parties a very safe forum to talk in a very frank manner about critical issues between the countries. And we help educate the parties about each other's key issues. They get to become friends with each other and they know each other as humans. They get to know their families. And it's really had a positive impact on the U.S.-China relationship and the party's relationships as we go into this campaign season. It's even more important to try to keep our political rhetoric on a more balanced view and not an extreme view that sometimes you can hear in a political campaign. Uh, the East West Institute had an amazing founder, John Burroughs, and he truly was an entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur in public service and in non-government organizations, John would find a problem, fix the problem, and then look for the next challenge. So the East West Institute has always been flexible, but if you look back over our lifetime of over 30 years, the problems seem to be roughly the same. It comes back to U.S.-Russia, U.S.-China, U.S. in the Middle East. So we're always adaptive. We can work on special projects, but the core ends up being these three strong programs. That seems to be the focus but we're always open-minded, and when governments need help, we're here to help even on non-core issues.